Item number SCP-525 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Outside of testing conditions, the individual components of SCP-525 must be stored in separate sealed containers. No more than six components may be stored in the same room or within 15 meters of each other. All currently existing components are accounted for at Storage Site 23 in Lockers 2. Only Class D personnel are authorized to handle SCP-525. All supervising staff must wear protective eyewear during testing. Description: SCP-525 consists of multiple disjoint arthropod legs, 10 to 15 cm in length. DNA identification has been inconclusive, but the closest match so far is to the brown recluse spider, Luxoxiles reclusa. The base of each leg ends in several minute hooks capable of perforating flesh. SCP-525 is covered in short, fine hairs and is quite brittle. When alone or in proximity with fewer than six others, SCP-525 is inert. When eight components of SCP-525 are brought within range of each other, approximately 0.6 meters, the legs will immediately crawl into a group and attach themselves into a single entity referred to as 525-1. At this stage, the speed of its locomotion greatly increases, and it will attempt to make contact with the closest human or similar. See Addendum number 525-A. When a suitable animal is found, 525-1 will climb directly towards the animal's eye. Having centered itself over a socket, four legs will secure the eyelid while the others extract the eye. Despite 525-1's rapid movements, Extreme care is taken not to damage the eye during the extraction, severing the optic nerves and central retina vein. Once the eye is free from the original owner's socket, 525-1 will implant the base of each leg into the eye. Close inspection shows the hooks of the base extend, effectively rooting the leg in position. If allowed to remain, 525-1 will lay what appears to be eggs in the socket of its host before climbing off. See document number 525A. When in possession of an eye, 525-1 is no longer hostile, and its movement is somewhat impeded. Curiously, 525-1 does not respond to visual stimuli, suggesting that it does not use the eye for sight. Dissection of a chimpanzee eye taken by 525-1 and retained for a period of one week revealed the formation of Over time, the eye dehydrates, eventually turning the same reddish color as SCP-525. After two to three weeks, 525-1 will abandon the eye and begin to search for another. Addendum number 525-A 525 responds to most large to moderate-sized mammals. Reptiles, fish, and birds have provoked little response. When exposed to Crocodilus acutus, 525-1 attempted extraction managing to blind the animal but otherwise failing. Thereafter, all instances of 525 have not responded to crocodiles, even those not present at the initial experiment. Document number 525A Observation Log of Subject D-1548 after exposure to 525-1 Report compiled by Dr. Weiss Dated 2000 and Week 1 Medical staff on hand attend the D-1548. Fourteen ovoids resembling opaque toad eggs discovered embedded in the extraocular muscles. Three are removed and sent to the research lab. D-1548 placed under quarantine. Week 2 D-1548's injury is healing as normal. Eggs show marginal swelling. D-1548 did not display unusual discomfort. Eggs stored in the lab at Deliquest. Week 3 D-1548 complains of increasing phantom pressure in the socket. D-1548 demands a mirror to inspect the injury. Request denied. Muscle tissue is healed over and obscured the eggs. Week 4 D-1548 forcibly removes bandages and attempts to dig into the socket. It is successfully restrained. 24 days after initial exposure, 11 fully formed components of SCP-525 a rep from D-1548 socket and begin to coalesce 